Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Showcase on Warframe. Now with Neo almost here, I figure I'll squeeze out one video before I start on that. Now, today's item, the Volcar, my second sniper rifle I'm covering. And when I covered the Rubico way back, or eh, just almost a year ago, I didn't even have this score system, so things are a bit different now. But the damage for sniper rifles remain the same, they're all critical based. The Volcar being the most rapid fire of them all. Think of it as a PSG-1. Many follow-up shots, but not nearly as powerful as the other sniper rifles. Or so you think. Stick around. I'll do some mad tricks with this thing. Or damage, I'd say. <laughs> anyway, as we see, it's mainly impact. Critical chance is the lowest of all the sniper rifles, though it only at 20%, which is a bit of a bummer. Status though is 25, and you get 6 shots. So, it makes up for that. It may be only 20, but you can upgrade it and you will get a, you will get criticals. Now, where you find this, you, most new players will unlock it through doing the junctions, but if you really need the blueprint otherwise, you'll find it in the marketplace. Making it is also proud to be cheap. You need 20,000 credits, 12.5 more fix, 8, 800 uh, circuits, 1,200 salvage, and 800 plastids. Plastids being the last thing that most new players will get. But otherwise, it is fairly cheap. Norfolk should be in plentiful abundance by that time that most players actually get to this. So, by the time they get to Saturn, or otherwise, they'll have access to this. Or actually, no, I think Volta uh, plastic elsewhere. Yes, I think it was on Phobos now, wasn't it? God, things changed so much. <laughs> Moving on. Now, for performance, well, one thing about the Volcar, it has three zoom ins. So. Yes, and every time you zoom in, it increases its damage for its scope benefit. This is a bit monotonous having three zoom ins, but it is what it is. And from the hip fire, you're likely to miss your target, as for most sniper rifles. So aiming on the scope is pretty much the only thing you want to go here. So 2.5 times you get, uh, for zoom anyway, you get 5% damage. Then double that, you get 15, and then the final zoom in is 20% damage. So it's strictly just damage. So yeah. Now, another thing about the Volcar, since it has many shots, and you can do rapid succession, the shock combo. It's very important here, because like melee weapons, if you can create a shot combo, and let, let it go over, like, you know, build up a few shots, it'll start doing multipliers. This is very helpful. Very helpful. But only if you manage to hit your opponents and don't miss. As you see there, it's 1.5 on a second shot. So when you get like up a multiplier, your criticals will start going crazy, very quickly. Luckily, the Volcar reloads fast enough that you can get your shot combo continued after reloading. As you see there, second shot, still have my combo going. But we're not going to go over the, the original Volcar. We're going to go with the Volcar Wraith. So it's a direct upgrade. It's very nice looking, but it's only it's, it's pretty much stuck in this paint. I don't like the red and black, but no matter. Volcar Wraith is a direct upgrade. There are a few negative modifiers, but they're very minicule. As you know, they're missing the slash now, but no matter. Otherwise, almost all the crit criticals remain the same, status remains the same. Magazine goes up, I'll show that in a second, but anyway. Uh, we get this, since they are acquirable in-game, you gotta pay attention to invasions. You'll find them in various invasions now. In the past, what I told you, you cannot acquire it anymore, but that is no longer the case. You simply gotta be incredibly patient or fork up some plat off to someone who has it. Up to you. Now, for stat changes. You can see going right to... Uh, pretty much you can see we lose our slash altogether, zero slash. Puncture also goes down, but we get a lot more impact. 45 more impact. That's a lot. Then magazine gets two extra shots, which is a lot considering that shot count, that shot count combo. You gotta keep that nice and high. So yeah. So all in all, you may lose Slash, but I think rest makes up for when you get that much impact damage out of it. Plus the extra two shots. So it's not a tremendous upgrade, but it's a good enough upgrade in my book. Good enough. Alright, now fooling around. Here's my ultimate build. So yes, time for ultimate build. As you see, I got 2500 impact damage, and then I got 1800 toxin. My critical chance is 50%, and my critical damage is 7.6. Which is pretty high. Now, going over the mods, I got my basic serration maxed out, split chamber, add store all damage, crash course is uh, for impact damage. Then I got point strike for critical chance, and then I'll sense for critical damage. Now, the lasting purity is on there. Lasting purity 
add something called Dead Aim, which increases your zoom in damage. Doesn't really show the number, but I'll show a comparison with and without it. But yes, the Lasting Purity is specifically for this weapon only, the Volcar, and its Wraith. And Argon Scope on Headshot increases critical chance by 135%, so it jumps that 50% up to around 70 so. Now here's my Riven mod. Now it's not the best Riven mod. I got a lot of critical damage on that, hence I got it up to 7.6 without using Armor Shot, and plus the Toxin damage, and that's where that comes from. I wanted to get critical chance, but after rolling the sucker nine times, I kind of got distasteful of rolling it anymore. <laughs> so critical damage is good enough. Again, I wanted more critical chance, but eh, for weapon, I'm, for a ribbon mod, I'm not going to keep. I'm not going to put that much effort into it. <laughs> Though preferably, that's what you probably want is critical chance. Damage is nice, but chance is better in my book. Now, let's go over some damage. Here's without purity. Again, that's dead aim which adds more damage to the scope here. So we'll take the highest damage value there. Mind you, it's a level 135 Ancient Eximus. So 54k. That's pretty damn good. And here's with purity. Oh sweet Jesus. Yeah. Now my multi-shot managed to kick in there and get two headshots, but let's do that again. We're gonna do it one more time, again with the purity. So we didn't see it do it as well that time, but plenty of damage. In fact, how much damage? <coughs> 136k. Yeah. Okay, enough testing. Let's take some Lancers. Uh, about seven of them. Why seven? Because these are going to hurt. Because level 100 was too weak. We're going to go to 139. Nah, 140. Just kidding. So yes, the maximum level I could do in the shooting range. I was boasting some clan, clan members, but Rubico could put this weapon to shame, but... I am proven wrong. This weapon is a truly destructive force in your hands. As much as annoying as the 50% critical chance on shot, but as long as you get a headshot, it's better than that with Argon Scope. The damage is through the roof. This is an impact weapon. Let me remind you, this is an impact weapon, and this is killing Grenier in one to two shots if their headshots and critical. When they're not critical, they isn't very impressive. But when it is a critical, it murders. When you get that shot count combo, because right now, with my shot count, I was times two. Just then. So yeah, take damage and double it. That Ancient only had probably 1.5 times shot combo, but that only takes two shots. So yeah, it's quite destructive. Since so Ancient just destroyed the Grenier, let's take in some uh, MOAs. Take a couple more MOAs. Eh, about 12 of them. This could be painful. Yeah gonna be painful. Luckily for me though, they are very stupid and they send, seem to sit there like a bunch of fish in a barrel. And I'm gonna take a quite advantage of that. So let's just turn into a shooting range. <laughs> As you see, I can just lay out many of them in a single shot. I don't want to stay on this. I don't want to activate the enemies or make them run towards me because I will not last very long. I will die very quickly in front of those guys. These enemies are stronger than the ones you find in the raids. The Law of Retribution and Jor's Verdict. And I'm laying them all out with one hit, pretty much. So yeah. Volker Wraith. Strongest sniper rifle? Well, it definitely puts the Vectus to shame. Doesn't matter what the damage to Vectus does. Only has one shot, or two. But now into the final category, Chargers. We'll take 20 of them. And same level at 140. Now, I'm not so... I don't care if they run towards me. They're slow. Thanks to me, Equinox. And I want, uh, if I had some punch through, this weapon would be very good against infestation, but uh, sniper rifle against infestation is just not that great. I only use the light zoom in this time, but even with the light zoom in, still kill chargers in one hit pretty much, providing such a critical hit. But thanks to Argon Scope, it pretty much is. A critical hit never, nearly every time. So yeah, I think I showcased the firepower of this weapon enough. It is destructive. Very destructive. And even from the from hip, it still does plenty of damage. <laughs> Very nice. Let's move on to the pros and cons of the Volcar set. Mainly the Wraith, but all the cons will apply to the plain Volcar as well. And most pros. Now, first pro, it does an ungodly high amount of damage. <laughs> oh, I've done right. Also, it, thanks to its large magazine, it can do quick follow-up shots for combo counter. Or shot counter, I should say. 
And finally, the scope is a very nice addition. You got three levels of zoom. So you definitely hit targets off from long range. Not that you really need to, but no matter. Going on to the cons of the Volcar Wraith. Well, it is mainly an impact weapon. This is still a bit of a downside. Impact being the least desired damage of the three. Alright, and the critical chance is the worst of all sniper rifles sitting at only 20% starting off. But still, thanks to its DPS, it makes up for that. Alright. And oh, oh yes, handling three zoom-ins can be tedious at times. But no matter. Let's move on to the score for the Volcar Wraith. Damage gets a clear 10 out of 10. You won't find many other weapons that do the same damage I did with this weapon. Not many of them. Now, we're not going to use accuracy because all sniper rifles are accurate. At least from from the hip they're awful, from down the scope they're excellent. So we'll do scope for a score, which is going to get a 7 out of 10. Not the best effect for a scope, but damage is okay. Design, I'll give a 9 out of 10. This weapon is very well done. After doing all this with this rifle, I'm surprised they wouldn't nerfed it next update, but no matter. Ammo though, I'm going to give 6 out of 10, because of all the a rifles, this one you have to actually worry about the ammo. If you go through quick, it'll be gone before you know it. But it's no sniper rifle, so use a moderation, it'll be just fine. Misc, 10 out of 10. It's a, it's a sniper rifle that puts all my other sniper rifles to shame, unexpectedly. <laughs> that is both a good and bad thing for me. It means I built up my Rubico so much, and now it's dethroned by this. But no matter. In total, the Volcar gets... 42 out of 50, which is powerful. Way too powerful in my opinion, but whatever. So judgment's a bit of a no-brainer. Even though it took quite a bit of work to get it to this point, I believe it was worth it. It's a sniper rifle that has multiple shots that lays out 100 level 140 opponents in one. Most of the time. So yeah, pretty damn worth it in my opinion. <laughs> now getting your hands on the damn thing for a new player, that would be the challenge. But that is the video for today. Showcase over. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and hope to see you guys next time. Take care out there.